My name is Heidi, and welcome to one of my favorite buildings in New York City. It's called the Municipal Building. Up until 2009, that's where couples would get married. The building actually has about a million square feet of space, so it's considered to be one of the largest government buildings in the world. The crowning glory on top is a sculpture called Civic Fame. People are constantly asking me, oh, what is that? What's that sculpture? Civic Fame stands about 25 feet tall, so she's one of the tallest sculptures in New York City. She's holding a crown that has five turrets. So the turrets are to represent the five boroughs of New York City, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Most people have no idea who the woman is behind civic fame. Her name was Audrey Munson, and she has an incredible story. I always thought it would be a great movie. In 1906, she and her mother were walking on a street one day, and a photographer named Ralph Draper discovered Audrey, saw her, instantly fell in love, and uh, had a good friend who was a famed artist named Isidore Conti, introduced Audrey to Isidore. Isidore convinced Audrey that she should do some modeling. So over the course of the next 10 years, Audrey Munson became a muse. Audrey Munson, uh, unbeknownst to most New Yorkers, appears in about two dozen sculptures in New York City. She moved her fame to California. She was the official model of the Panama Pacific exhibition in San Francisco in 1915 and uh, worked in films as well. In fact, the first film that she appeared in was called Inspiration, in which she appeared as a sculptor's model. And it was a landmark film because it was the first film in history in which a woman appeared entirely in the nude. She came back to New York after a few years, and she was living in a boarding house with her mother that was owned by Dr. Walter Wilkins. Dr. Walter Wilkins fell in love with Audrey Munson, as I'm sure many people did. So he actually murdered his wife. And that was a huge scandal that essentially ended Audrey's career. She got very, very depressed. And in 1922, she tried to commit suicide. A judge sentenced Audrey Munson to a mental asylum. And she would have been 39 years old at the time. Now here's what you really have to think about. From age 39 until when Audrey finally passed away at age 104, right? She only died in 1996, right? So for 65 years of her existence, she lived in a mental asylum and died there. So it's, it's really, really sad to me that you know, a woman who is on top of the world, who the New York Sun newspaper described as Miss Manhattan, died an unknown. She is still famous in her own way. She is immortalized as civic fame, and generations upon generations of New Yorkers will walk underneath her gaze. I love giving tours because it's similar to when, you know, you have a favorite movie, and, um, you know, you've seen it a million times, but then, you'll introduce that movie to a friend who hasn't seen it before. And it's like, you're seeing it again for the first time. It's wonderful, you know, seeing how people react to the city, because it's just awesome.